Hey everybody, welcome back to the 8-Minute Empire. Let's uh, keep going. So, it is my turn. I was thinking about the Dire Ogre, but it's only two movement. And I think I am instead going to pay one buck. Because at one buck, I could build a city or I could build a city and deploy some more stuff. And since I'm not going to be able to be, you know, I could get the Ogre, I could move over here, but then Jen will just build the city and I will have moved over here and I won't get the benefit. So to heck with it. I'm just going to go on ahead and grab these ancient woods. And um, I get to build a city and then I get to deploy units. And now I've got one, two, so I will deploy three units. I'll build my city up here and I get to deploy three more units. And now I've got two places I can deploy them. I could deploy them back here or up here or my choice, I could split them. Um, what the heck, I'll go on ahead and put one, two, three, I'll put them all up here. So I've got a nice little foothold so I can start expanding. Because remember, I get bonus points if I control this entire island. Maybe I want to put one of them over here though, because now I control this entire island. I've got five, six, seven, eight. Jen's only got um, six. So this is going to help ensure that I control this island. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go with that. All right, and so that was my turn. Things slide down. Now it's Jen's turn, and a forest came out. Jen wants that forest tree town, which means when she moves units, she gets to move an extra one, and she uh, could build a sit another city. But in the meantime, I think Jen is going to go on ahead and pay one buck and get the Cursed Mausoleum, which lets her build a city, and it improves her movement ability. Wah, oopsie. So she's going to build a city over here as predicted. And Jen, now, um, you know, this is basically the same. Now, whenever Jen summons units, she gets two bonus uh, one for her forest health plus one for having that cottage. Okay. And interestingly, Jen now controls this little region because she has two. A city is a place where you can summon things, and it also counts as one unit for area majority. So, Jen effectively has two against the one natives, so she controls this. This is worth a point to her. Although I control the entire island, because I've got one, two, three, four, and Jen's got two, and the natives have two, so I control the entire island, which means this island is worth two points to me because of my special power. So anyway, a new card comes out. It's a knight village. Oh, I want the knight! I want to control the knight because I am the knight wizard! Okay. But I'm not going to spend three bucks again. i got to wait for it to get a little bit cheaper. Hmm, so, do I, again, do I take this gosh darn dire ogre that's just so free? But if I take it, this moves down, Jen gets the Noble Hills. Now this is an interesting one. Uh, the special power is there are three Noble cards. If you manage to get all three Noble cards, that's four points. So that's awesome, but it's very easy for somebody to disrupt it. Um, you know, as soon as a Noble comes out, you better be prepared to pay three bucks to grab it. But, and also gets to summon um, three, but both of us get to summon an extra one. And we both have now, and Jen could summon and take control of this island. But that's the thing, if I take this for free, then Jen could get this for free. But if I tempt Jen to get that for free, then that means on my next turn, um, this will be free, and these will both cost one. And it might be worth it to grab this forest tree town, but no, I really want the night village even more. Um, oh, but there's this lake. Jen wants that lake so bad. Now that's the interesting thing. I know no matter what, Jen needs that lake. So I should, strictly speaking, I should pay two bucks and grab it for myself right now. It would let me um, summon two plus my bonus or move three and it's plus one per forest card. Because if I let Jen have that, I know she's already trying to get forests. So that's a big deal for her. Oh man. But I'm already broke. I'm down to three, four, five, six. I'm down to six bucks to make it through the next, oh, we've done three, um, so I have to go through eight more rounds with only six dollars. I can't afford to pay two bucks for that thing. Oh. Jeez. Although still, that'll be a big, big boost. I think I am going to do it. It's crazy, but I'm going to do it. I'm just burning through cash. So this Dire Ogre is never going to be worth anything to me because I'm, I'm going to be totally broke by the end of this game. So now I get a bonus for Lakes as well. And Jen, oh, she is bummed about that. So um, I can summon two plus two or I can move three. My choice. Um, which one do I want to do? Uh, summon four or move three? I think I'll summon four. Although, you know, there's several more, there's a couple more summon cards that are coming. So I could summon later, and then there's a couple of city building cards. 
Maybe moving is better. Now, interesting. So I can move three. I can move these three guys up here. So hey, I control this region. And if there are ever seven cubes in this region, whoever placed the seventh cube gets to defeat the dragon, which is worth, I looked it up, it's worth two extra victory points. But here's the thing, if I move through, you know, if I, if I eventually move four in here and then Jen moves, you know, two and then she moves another one, Jen, even though I did the majority of the work, Jen will get the dragon. So it's a bit tricky to go for that dragon unless you're pretty confident you're the one who can get there. But you know what, hey, there's not a lot of movement out here. And that's, that's a three movement. And then I could get two movements, so I can move all five units into here. And, uh, but then that's just waiting for Jen just to move two units in. So that's pretty tricky. I think I'm just gonna go on ahead and summon and summon four more. And let's see, I'll summon two over here so I can continue to try to maintain total dominion of this island and two over here so I can continue to try to maintain total dominion of this island for my white knight bonus. Okay, and man, I am down to four bucks and we're not even halfway through the game. Ouch, I am definitely gonna regret that because I want this knight village so bad. But anyway, in the meantime now, what is Jen gonna do? Well, she definitely wants this forest town. Um, but it costs two. So if Jen wants to save some cash, she could get the Noble Hills, uh, which lets her summon five guys. Or the ancient. Ooh, you know what? No, Jen's totally going to pay one buck to get the Ancient Tree Spirits. Okay, she'll get to summon six guys on the board, and she has three elixirs. Whoever has the most elixirs on their card at the end of the game gets two victory points. Most elixirs, too. So the, you know, Jen continues to have more elixirs than me. This is two points she just grabbed for this card. So that's definitely worth one buck. And now she gets to summon six units. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is crazy. Um, you know, it just shows how different the game can play each time because you know, of the cards that end up coming out. All right, so Jen can summon six over into this region or this region. Let's see. I think Jen... All right, and let's see. I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and versus six. And then I've got five versus one. So Jen can take control of one of these two regions. I think she'll put most of them over here. Because putting a lot on this island is not so great, because when she moves north, she has to go through those stupid bandits, which she hates. So she's going to, actually, she can summon them all right here. And that's seven to my five. And she has very, um, very handily taken control of this overall island. And so now she can start using these guys to spread around up here. Okay, so she'll just dump everything into that island. And she got, potentially, if she has the most elixirs at the end of the game, two more points for that. And now back to me, back to my turn. Hey, look, the forest gnome. There's three more elixirs. I could tie that up. Um, and in which case, you know, uh, all the tied players get one point, so it would basically eliminate Jen's bonus there. And Jen's down to six bucks, although I'm down to four. All right, so what am I going to do? Well, you know what? Wow, I'd like to grab this forest tree town because I get points for forest cards, but it's to build a city. Yeah. But, so I could build a city, well I've already built a city here, I could build a city here which won't do me anything. I'd really rather build a city there, so I want to move first. And still, oh, this forest gnome lets you move, but that's way too expensive. If I get the dire giants, Jen can never attack me, that's really nice too. I think that's the only immune to attack in the game, if I recall correctly. Oh, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take this dire ogre for free. Um, it's just been sitting there saying, please take me, well, no one loves the Dire Ogre. So, I now have a Dire card, and you know, maybe I'll get points for a Dire card as well, because there's a Dire Giant, maybe, um, uh-oh, and hey, somebody's at the door. So, we're going to have to pause for a second, be right back, folks. Oops, sorry for that interruption, let's get back to it. And you know what, upon second, I, I'm just not going to grab this Dire Ogre. I, and you know, only moving two is really just not going to help me that much. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take the Forest Tree Town. So this is my second forest card. I get to build a city, and now when I move, I get plus one movement. So that'll make the dire ogre worthwhile, well, because then I have three movement. I could move one of my guys across the ocean over there with three movement. So I'm grabbing this, I'm gonna build a city, and it's gonna be right here. And now, so I can deploy guys here, which isn't that great because I can deploy guys here already, but here's the interesting thing. I believe if I deploy guys here, deploying them does not count as moving. So that means this bandit I can put more guys, I can put guys into this region now without having to pay the bandit. So that is actually pretty nice. I think. I'm pretty sure that's the case. If I'm wrong, I'm sure Paolo will note it. But so I went with that, and it cost me 
One buck. I'm down to three bucks now. But I also got a point for having my second force card. Okay, so Jen's turn. Lead, 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 a pirate's life for me. Um, hmm. And you know what? Jen is tempted to go ahead and pay one buck and grab that night village because she knows it's worth a point to me. She can pay two bucks and get the forest gnome and thereby pretty much guarantee that she's got the elixirs sewn up, which is two points. Plus, she'd get to do two movement. Plus one, she'd get to do three movement. But she'd have to pay two bucks for that. This is the first movement. Or, you know, she could grab this ogre that I didn't grab for free. And, yeah. I think so. I think Jen's going to try and save some cash. Because remember, her special power, at the end of the game, take one extra card, isn't really going to do her much good if at the end of the game she's out of cash. Um, so she wants to save a little bit of cash so she'll be able to have a you know, fair pick from what's up here. So Jen's going to go ahead and grab the Dire Ogre, um, which gives her... Plus, she wants money left over at the end of the game because it's worth victory points to her now. She gets to move one, two, three of her units. And moving across water is cheaper than normal. So, she will move one, so when she builds a city here, she can grab this, which gives her extra movement for having those stables. That's one movement. And you know what? Two, three. Jen has just arrived on the other island, where there is a vortex. And this vortex means Jen can, this zone and this zone are connected as if they're adjacent. So now Jen has a, fr a very cheap way to get over here to grab that money. Yeah, she's pretty happy with that. I think she thinks that was worth it, even if she's potentially... Because here's the thing, I could grab this night village now, which is worth a point to me, but where am I going to build another city? I mean, I can build a, another... I think I can build another city in the same area, but I really, I'd really, i ideally like to spread around first. Yeah, I can, I, I can put multiple cities here, but... Yeah, I, oh, boy. All right, so anyway, so in that, everything became cheaper. A stronghold. Oh, yeah, now, this is one victory point per dire card. Jen has a dire... And I do not. So, my turn. I'm down to three dollars, one silver. Let's convert that into three copper. All right. Now what the heck? Let's convert Jen's two silver into three copper, or into six copper. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So there hasn't been much fighting in this particular game, although you know there are going to be more attack cards coming. So anyway, so it's my turn. We've done what? One, two, three, four, five rounds so far. So there's six more rounds to go. Um, I could get the Noble Hills and try to go to try and see if I could pick up the other two Noble cards. Oh, that's unlikely because I'm so broke. But I would get to deploy. But, you know, I've, I've only got three guys left. So I'm definitely not doing that. I'm tempted to get the Night Village. The Dire Giant is... Well, I'd get to knock one of Jen's cubes off the board, uh, which would be in this area or this area. Or I'd, and I don't want to pay two for the Forest Gnome because I'm, I'm too broke. I'd love to. It would let me move some guys around, and it would tie Jen up, because right now she's got the elixirs sewn up. But do I dare pay two? And then pretty much I'll be down to one dollar for the rest of the game. I'll be, because pretty soon I'll be stuck with only just taking whatever is here, and I'll have no control over my fate. I don't think I can afford to do that. Wow. Um, oh, by the way, oops, I forgot. I forgot my other power. Whenever I build a city... I add, a, um, I add an army. So I built two cities. I should have added two more armies onto the board, which I totally forgot about. So now I have even less desire to deploy more units because I'm only down to one left. Man, I want this forest gnome so bad. I, I need to start moving my guys. This night village, even if I, I, it's, it's worth a point, it's a straight up point to me because it'll be my third night card. But I just don't have any good place to build a city. I mean, again, there's nothing wrong with it. It'll help my majorities, but I'm already crazy in majority. Although, actually, what? Jen's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So building another city in this space, as ridiculous as it is, does help me get control for the extra point at the end of the game. Oh, another reason to grab the forest gnome. I get a victory point for every forest because I've got the lake. And I know Jen needs to get at least three forest cards to get her victory point off her fairy queen. But even still, I'd be down to one dollar. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. It's insane. Oh, this is such a bad move. All right. So I have totally bankrupted myself. Um, I've tied up Jen on elixirs. This is a forest card. 
So that's two points to me for force I've gotten so far, and I get to move two units of my choice, which means finally when I build a city, I'll be able to build it someplace good. Now where am I going to move, what units am I going to move? Um, with only two movement, I can't get across the ocean. So I think I'll move a unit here, and I'll move a unit here. Because this little guy all by himself, this is worth a point, because I control that region. And um, if I control this region, having this citadel is worth a point. And I can build a city here, so that I've got two here versus the one um, local. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right. Um, not the most exciting thing in the world, and I paid through the nose for it, but we'll see if I regret it. Oh my gosh, I'm down to one dollar. Ah. Right, and so now it's Jen's turn. And... Man, she is bummed. I mean, you know, she's really worried about not being able to get her bonus point for all her forests. But let's see, what's she going to do? She's got six bucks. She's got plenty of cash. Uh, now, dire means she'd be immune to attack, and she'd be able to summon some more guys onto the board, and she'd take one of my guys out. And it would be her second dire, which means if she gets this stronghold of building a city, she would get two points for those dyers. So that's pretty tempting. But you know what? Jen knows I want to use this night village and build a city there. She knows that, because it's worth a point to me, and right now, I could get, and you know, although I'd have to pay my last dollar to get that night village. <laughs> oh, I've spread myself too thin, folks. Well, that's the thing. If Jen, if Jen lets me take the night village, which is worth a point, and I, and I build my city over here, from that point on, I have no cash, and Jen knows I'm always stuck with what's ever here, and she gets first dibs on everything. I think that's worth it. Let me have that night village for the point and the castle so that I will never have to be bothered again. So, if that's the case, I think Jen will just go on ahead and pay one buck to grab this dire giant, who means Jen can never be attacked again. Well, that's the interesting thing, because I'm going to be broke soon, and Jen knows that I will never be able to attack her. She doesn't need that protection, necessarily. Now that's it. I don't have to take that night village, but it's going to be pretty tempting. And I've been cr crazy with my money so far. But with that, yeah, Jen's going to do it anyway. She'll take that. All right, and that cost her her one. And so now she gets to just summon one, two, three, four, five guys onto the board, and she gets to kill one of my guys. And so actually, she only has five guys left. And so where's she going to put them? Well, she doesn't want to put them down here. She doesn't want to put it. Actually, you know what? Actually, no, no, she's not going to, because now is not a good time to summon. She needs to build another city first. Yeah, she is going to add insult to injury. She is going to take this night village. And I say, no! And so now Jen has six types of cards and no du du duplicates of anything. Wow. So that means when Jen summons, she gets to summon an extra one. But more importantly, she's taken a point from me. Um, although that's dangerous, too. That means I've still got money. And that means, I mean, I might buy this dire... Yeah, it's, it's so weird. We've just summoned so much stuff. But Jen does not want to pay. Oops, I already paid. She was okay. Actually, did I already pay? No. Right, she took the dire over. Right, so I've actually paid twice for that because she, if she takes that night village, she doesn't want to summon right now. She could pay two bucks to get the cursed tower. That would be her second cursed. And if she can grab, you know, she could get points for curses as well, and a victory point for flying. That's pretty nice too. Jen is just going to stick with her original plan. She got the dire. She gets to summon five things and kill one of mine. Although, where is she going to summon them? She could summon them down here where they're kind of stuck because of the bandit. She could summon them over there. But she doesn't want to summon them because here's the thing. Oh my gosh. Because Jen is going to build a city over here. And then she can start summoning over there and spread out. So that's really attractive to her. Okay, then that, okay, it is crazy, but I've gone crazy with money. Jen's going to go crazy too. She's going to spend an extra buck and grab this cursed tower. So she gets one point for flying. So this is worth a point right off the bat. She gets to build a city. And so she's building a city over here. She now controls this. That's worth a point. And now that when she summons there, she'll be much happier. Okay. And a cursed banshee comes out. Oh, wow. And so there's two elixirs. Uh, we're tied, but when Jen gets that, she'll take the elixir thing again. And oh, wow. Okay. But anyway, my turn. I have one dollar. So that means I can either take the Noble Hills for free, or I can get the Dire Giant and do a bunch of summoning I don't need, the Noble Hills. I'm going to spend my last dollar. Oh, my gosh. And buy my Night Village. And I will build my third and final. 
Which, remember, whenever I build something, I get to summon a guy. That's my special power. And so there we go. And I'm broke. Oh, it's... It's going to be an ugly rest of the game for me, folks. And the Noble Unicorn. Okay. Jen's turn. She has four bucks and a lot of units still to summon. Okay. So now, Jen, um, she has total control over me because she gets to decide who I take. She knows I'm going to take the Noble Hills, which means all I can do is summon, and I can't summon anything anyway. And all she has to do is not let me... So, wow. Oh, boy. I think I've lost. I, I spent too much money. This is going to kill me. But let's see. All right, so what is Jen going to do? Well, there's no reason for her to... She doesn't have to spend anything, so she'll just pay one. And uh, does she want to build another city right now? Or... Nah, she'll do her Dire Giants now. Which lets her summon five. Three plus her two bonuses. And she'll summon them all over here. Okay. And so that... And she gets to kill one of my guys. Where's... This is the... Uh, she'll go on ahead and kill this one. Which lets me summon something. Oh, how exciting for me. Okay. And meanwhile, I can never attack her. So, my turn. Hey, I'm broke. What am I going to do? I guess I'll take the Noble Hills. And hey, I get to summon something. Well, where do I want to summon? I can summon it back here, or over here, or over here. Um, now, I can see Jen's going to probably start moving some guys over here. And let's see. She's got five. I'm pretty confident I've got this sewn up, so I'm going to summon over here to make sure I sew up this island for the extra point. All right. And now it's Jen's turn again. And hey, I will get to build a city, which doesn't do any good because I've already built all my cities. And it'll give me points for dire cards. And I have no dire cards. But Jen wants that because she has two dire cards. Oh, dear. Um, no, no, she's fine with that. Jen will spend nothing to grab this stronghold. Um, let's see. And it's plus one point per dire card. And she gets to build a city. So she gets to build her third city. She would have rather moved first, but she doesn't want me to have this. So she's going to put this into place so her dyers are worth points. And she gets to build a city now. So where's her last city going to go? Um, she could put it over here so that she could summon into this region like I did. What the heck? She'll do that. Okay. So, slides down. My turn. I have no money, so I have to take this card. It is a plus one per cursed card. Hey, you know what? I have no cursed card, so it doesn't do me any good. I get to summon two. That doesn't do me any good. That was my turn. Slide, 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 slide. All right, Jen's turn. Now, although if I get this, well, I can, I can move a lot of troops around. I'll get two elixirs, which gives me the elixir, and I'll get a point because it's cursed. So Jen can't let me have that. She cannot let me have that. So she's going to take this cursed banshee for free. And um, she gets, uh, right, so that sews up the elixir for her, and she can move six units. All right. Um, although, actually, wait, she gets to move seven, doesn't she? Because doesn't she have a, a movement? Yeah, seven, because of her first mausoleum, and she gets a discount on water. So she gets to do seven movements. Let's have her go one, thanks to the vortex, two, three. Oh, well, okay, yeah. So she, she's built her last city, so she'll never be able to grab that, unfortunately. That was kind of three, four. So now, Jen owns this region, this region, and this island. So that was four of her seven. Four, five, six, seven. So now Jen owns this region because she's got more than these guys. Although actually, no, 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 six. Because later on she'll be able to take one of those guys out and then she'll have the majority here. Wow. And so she's got one more move she can make. What, what moves will she do? Um, oh. Seven. All right, and so she's just claimed that region now. Wow. Okay, everything slides down, and it's my turn, and Jen just gave me a noble unicorn. Hey, I got the second noble card. Oh my gosh, I maybe have a chance of getting the nobles. All right, so I get to, I, I, get, I get plus one on my movements, I get four movement, and I get to deploy something, although I can't deploy anything because everything's already on the board. This has been a fairly blood three free game this game, so I get to move four plus one. I get to move five of my units. Um, let's see. I think I'll go one, two, three, four, five. And I have just moved up north. So I own this. No, I don't. There's three locals, so I don't own this island. I don't even own this region. But by moving up here, so I could have actually just gone one, two, three, four. And then I could... Um, now, that's right. Although, actually, 
I've already built all my cities. I'd rather come up here and then build my cities so I can deploy, but I got nothing to deploy. So I'll definitely come up one, two, because at least that gives me this area. And um, if I only move one up here, I won't get a point. All right, and I'll be giving this point back to Jen. So I'm not, I'll just, I'll, so that's one, two, and I have um, one, two, three more. I have three more movement. So I could go one, two, three, and get over there to that island as well. Or I could go one, two, three, and get over there with Jen and potentially take this region from her. Wow. Um, I could go crazy and try and go for the, for the, for the dragon. I could move these three over here because that'd be three, four, five, six, and then there's only one more. But again, I have to remember, Jen controls movement, and so she would just move in and she would get the dragon. Actually, oh, that's an interesting problem. I'm leaving this cursed gargoyle out here for Jen. She could move and maybe get the dragon if I leave my two guys there because she can move five in. But she can't because she only has one to move in there. Oh, wow, that's really interesting. I have actually a pretty good shot at getting that dragon because the next two things are movement. Even if Jen prevents me from getting one, I can get another. And I do have three guys here. Wowzy, wow, wow. So how many movement do I have? I've got five. I've just done one, two. I can't move these guys out because I have no more money, so I can't... Is that true? I mean, or can I move in and the bandages just don't take anything? I don't think the rules actually say. To the rules. Where are you, bandit? Uh, player ever moves into an army, he loses one coin. Actually, it doesn't say I can't move. So I can. I'm broke. I can move in there with impunity. That's interesting. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to make a run at that dragon, I think. Wow. Okay. So I guess the game isn't over for me after all. Okay. And we're starting to, all right. And what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> the game's almost over. Oh, wow. All right. I get one more move. Okay, well, let's just see this through. Jen's turn. Hey, it's a forest. And that's her second forest. Is Jen not going to get, because I took all these forests. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And now Jen wants to have three bucks left over, because that'll be a point for her because of the ogre. She only has two. It rounds down. Right, she doesn't need to get this Cursed King because she already has the Ancient. So if she takes the Cursed Gargoyle, that means I'll take the Pixie. That means she can get the Cursed King. She does not get points for Curses. Who gets points for Curses? I do. In fact, I want this Cursed Gargoyle because that's worth a point to me. Jen doesn't want that. Does she? Oh, yeah. You know what? Okay. So Jen's not going to pay anything. She's going to grab this Cursed Gargoyle because it would have been a point for me because I have the Graveyard. And uh, she gets more, she has two wings now, which is worth a point to her, So because that's another flying. And now, moving across the water only costs her one. And she gets to move um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So she can start spreading out even more. She's already taken this. She's taken, well, she'll take that when she kills these guys. Although she's running out of time. She might never get a chance to kill those guys. All right, she gets, what is it, six movement. And then she gets one more action after this, and then she gets to take one bonus card because of her special power. What does she want to do? Well, she could. This is a point right there. Although this, um, the, so she's tied. So I mean, she'd have to move another one in here. So that's one, two. So that just gave her a point. Hmm. Three. Stupid bandit. Ah, wow. So if she moves up north, she'll have to pay money because of that bandit. Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, but she needs to summon here. Yeah, she is really regretting having put that city there. Um, right, she, owns, she has this sewn up. Oh, my gosh, she could try to make a move on that. Wait, hold on a second. Let's think this through. Because she was going to get one point. That was two movements to get one point. That's not really great. Jen can move now. Um, six. She could move all six of these from this region into this region. She would then control this region, with, um, which is worth two points instead of one. She'd take that away from me. That's a pretty big deal. That's a much bigger swing. So Jen is just going to move one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. All right, and that was a big, big swing. I've got four in this region. Jen's got six. She gets two points there. Zounds. All right. So that was Jen's turn. Plus, she got a point for flying. Now, this is it. My last turn, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the 11th turn. I've got no money. Oh, my gosh. Well, so Jen didn't... I didn't get a point from the Cursed, but I did get a point from the Forest, 
which Jen gave up on because she couldn't pick up two forests anyway. So I get to move four, five, six. I get to move six cubes, and that's my last move. And so I could move some cubes back here to take this region back, or I can move them up here and get that dragon. Oh, I want to get the dragon. Let's see. Uh, let's see. That's one, two, three, four, and the dragon is mine. So that's two points. And I've got two more. Five, six, and that means we're tied for this region now, so nobody gets the citadel because we're tied. We each have six there. All right, that was it. That was my last move. Wow. And now, Jen's last move, she still got now. She could, um, oh, and I got the dragon. Yay, I killed the dragon. So, Jen could take this. The elixir's no good for her because she's, oh yeah, no. Yeah, she's already winning on elixir. She could move some more stuff, and it's free. And then that means she gets to take one more. This dire would come down. She does get a point for dyers. She could kill something. Oh, that's right. Yeah, she needed to kill this. Okay, yeah. Jen's just going to take this cursed king for free. She doesn't really care about the curse. But she can move four, five, uh, four, five, right? Is that right? Yes, she gets five. Right, last time she had, yeah, so she gets to move five, make five movement. And then um, she will, by her bonus point, you know, this will slide down. And she can take this for free, so she'll actually get a point for her three left over. And she gets five movement. She won't get to do this action, but it'll be another flying, which is worth another point to her. And a dire, so this card is worth two points to her. So that's pretty nice. Uh, right, and she gets five movement. This is her last bunch of cubes. And a kill, and a kill. But first she has to move, and then she kills. Um, right. So she's already lost this. So she's going to move here. That's one. And ultimately, she's going to do this kill, so that means she gets this region free and clear, because she's not tied for control of that. So, and she's got, and she's done one move, she gets four more moves. She doesn't want to spend any money on these bandits. She's already lost this, so one, two, three, so she just got a point for that region, which is unoccupied, three. Wow. Four, five, she has now taken this region from me again, which is a big swing. She gave up a point to take this, which is worth two points. Four, five, and that's it, right? Yeah, she had four, five, so that's it. That was her last move. And now, as a bonus, her other thing, take one extra card at the game, and you don't get to do the action, you have to pay. She'll take this dire dragon for free, so she can keep her money, and she gets to kill one thing. Oh! Oh, right. oh, and this is the thing she got, right? She didn't get to kill from the Cursed King. She got to kill, and so that was, she could summon some more she can't, but that's when she killed this guy, so she took this region as well. And that's it. Wow. Not exactly eight minutes, but let's see how it all adds up, shall we? Okay. I'm, I'm not feeling good about this. So I get two points for my dragon. Um, well, all right. Uh, okay. All right. Let's, okay. Let's see. Let's see if I, I'm not over here at all. This is one point. Two points. And I didn't get here. So that's one, two for these regions. And then I got the whole island. So that's three, four. So four points there. So let's just keep track of it with coins. There's four points. And now over here, I've got this region and this region. So that's five, six points. Yay. And I've lost this region. So that's it. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, but I did take the whole island. So that's two more. Right. So that's it for my land. That's all I, all I have for land. Now, for points. One point per night card. One, two, three. One point per force card. One, two, three, four. Wow, that was a big deal. Those force cards really worked out. Um, I didn't get all three noble cards. I got two of them, but uh, the noble knight eluded me. Uh, one point per curse card. I have no curse cards. So that's it, right? Yes. All right. So here's my final score, whatever it is. Oh, uh, yeah, right. And so now Jen's turn. She did not get three forest cards, but she did get to take her extra action. So for her stuff, she gets plus one for flying. And so she's got one, two, three. So that is three points for flying. One plus one for flying. Plus one for three coins. She had three coins, so she gets one for that. She gets one per dire card. One, two, three. So that is three for that. Okay, she um, also has the most elixirs, so that's two for that. 
because she has more looks than me. Um, and uh, let's see here. All right, and now her holdings on the board. She gets one, two for that citadel. She gets one for this region. And she, t she owns this island, one, two, three, four. All right, so versus two, so she gets one for that island. She gets one over here for this little tiny corner of paradise. She gets nothing for this island. She, no, she does get one for that region. She owns that region over me, but not this region. So that's it for that. She owns this island, that is one point. And she owns both these regions. So that's three points total for this island. Um, and she took this for me. So she gets two points for that region. But, um, and all right, so she's tied there, she's not there. So I think that's it. Right, so this is the final. Um, that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 for me. And, uh, this doesn't look good, folks. 9, 12, 15, 18, 20. 15 to 20, and that's it, folks. One full playthrough of 8 Minute Empire Legends. And if you'd like to hear some final thoughts now, you can hit the final button. The eye up in the top right corner to go. Final thoughts in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.